Making some new developments tonight in southeast Georgia, where a father and son face murder charges for the February death of an unarmed 25 year old man. Travis McMichael and his father Greg remain in jail, and it's not clear when they could face a judge for a bond hearing. Meanwhile, TMZ reports tonight that Ahmad Arbery's mother, Wanda Jones Cooper, told them she wants the McMichaels to face the death penalty. On your side, Kaylee Jones is live near the scene of the shooting tonight, and Kaylee. We understand an attorney from the family told you he wants to clear some things up tonight. That's right, Anthony. Attorney Lee Merritt says the question from TMZ's reporter caught Aubrey's mother off guard when the TMZ reporter brought up that there is the death penalty in Georgia. He did say, though, that that Aubrey's mother does want the McMichaels prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Anytime you ask a mother who lost a son whether or not the the person who killed them um, should also face the death penalty. You know, I, I think it's going to be hard to disagree that, that a mother uh, is going to want them to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. In a recent interview with TMZ, a reporter asked Ahmaud Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, if she thought capital punishment is appropriate in this case. TMZ says Cooper Jones answered by saying, quote, my son died, so they should die as well. The attorney for Arbery's family, Lee Merritt, says the question called her off guard, elaborating more on her answer. I can tell you talking with her later, she said, you know, uh, if that is what Georgia prescribes for men who do the kind of things that was, was done to her son, and then, and then she wants her son to enjoy the full protections of the law as well. Merritt says he does not advise families what to seek in terms of punishment, but does inform them of all options. I had a conversation with her about the dangers of the death penalty in Georgia. And, um, you know, although it may be appropriate in this case, uh, its application exposes other people, often innocent people. One out of 10 people who are put to death are actually proven innocent. Um, and she thought with those kind of numbers that, uh, she's generally against the death penalty, but still feels strongly that these men are men are deserving of the death penalty. Merritt says that the family also wants to thank everyone who has been fighting for justice for Ahmad Arbery, including the hundreds of people who gathered in front of the Glen County Courthouse and then marched through downtown Brunswick yesterday. They say they he says that they offer their sincere thank you to all of them. Reporting in Brunswick, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.